Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Santa. Today we're going to celebrate Advent. Yes, Advent. Do you know what the word Advent means? It means to come. Yes, of things yet to come. Yes, it means that. In Advent, Advent is something that we celebrate as Christians during the celebration of Christmas. And today is the first Sunday of the four Sundays of Advent. Did you know that? It's a pretty interesting thing to know. Oh, yes, sir. And did you know that the first Advent wreath was created in 1839? Wow. And that was by the Lutherans in Germany. Oh, my word. We're going to learn some history today, aren't we? Did we... Did you know that each one of the candles, according to the Catholic Church, represents 1,000 years? 1,000 years between Adam and the birth of Jesus Christ. Wow. That is totally awesome. Oh, yes. And did you know that the Advent wreath is usually in a circle, like a wedding band that says that has no beginning or no end? My love for Mrs. Claus starts and never ends. It's a continuous circle. It's like the love of Jesus Christ. It begins and it never ends. It's just in a perpetual circle. Wow. What do you think of that? Well, today we're going to celebrate. I'm going to light the first candle of Advent, if it works. And it is the candle of prophecy yes the candle of prophecy and what that means it was the meaning of back in the book of isaiah where they prophesied the coming of jesus christ did you know that it was actually prophesied that he would come so in isaiah 7 4 i gotta read that is therefore the lord himself will give you a sign well, we have a sign at Christmas, you know, the Bethlehem star, the angels singing in the, in the sky, in a baby in the manger, that the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Emmanuel. Yes, and that is from the New Testament. I mean, the, uh, from Isaiah 7, 4, from the New An International Version. Wow! So, we've talked about Advent, the word Advent today, that means come. We talked about the circle of the Advent wreath, that we've talked about that God's love is ever, forever. It be, it's no beginning and no end. Wow, we talked about the love that Santa has for Mrs. Claus. Oh, yes, I love Mrs. Claus to death. Oh, she's 100%. And we've talked about the first candle, the prophecy candle, or the candle of hope. And we talked about the Bible verse, Isaiah 7, 4. But did you also know another interesting fact? Silent Night was written in 1818 in a small town in Austria as a poem, which was later which later became a song once it was put to music. And it was not until 1939 that it was actually introduced to the United States in a performance in New York City. 1939. That was well over 120 years. Can you just imagine the song Silent Night? Silent Night, Oh Holy Night. Oh, all this just makes Santa excited for Christmas. We've got the birth of Jesus Christ. We have scripture. We have candles. We have wreaths. But most of all, we have the true reason for the season. Jesus. So thank you for joining me today as we talked about Advent. I hope you enjoyed the book that we read earlier today at 4 o'clock. So I will talk to you later. Merry Christmas. See you later. Bye-bye.